Hi everyone, Janie here and I have a beautiful DIY fall decor project that I hope you like because I love it. Let's get started. For this project I'm using a beautiful napkin that I found at the Dollar Tree and a small wooden cutting board and some Matte Mod Podge. But first I'm going to be using Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in the colors Castle and White Adirondack. I'm going to be giving the cutting board a weathered or aged distressed look and my favorite way of doing that is first painting the board with the darker color which in this case is Castle and it doesn't have to be a perfect paint job because I'm going to be painting over it but I try to give it as much coverage as I can. And also when I do a project like this I like to paint the back side as well just in case someone sees it I think it gives it a more finished look. Next I'm going over it with the white Adirondack and you can use a sponge brush or a stiff brush or pretty much any kind of brush that you want. I just happen to prefer this one. And I'm not giving this full coverage because I want the darker paint to show through in places to give the appearance that the white paint had worn off. This just happens to be a look that I really like. Okay, now that the board is painted and distressed on both sides, it's time to figure out what part of the napkin that I'm going to use. And first thing I'm going to do is just cut it in half because there's obviously two sides. So I'm just going to cut right along here. And you can cut around the actual area that you want to use, or you can do what I'm going to show you that I like to do. So once you get this cut out, and obviously this is way too big for what I'm using, but don't worry about it. Now we need to remove the extra layers because napkins come with one ply, two ply, three ply, you know, the different, different layers, and you only want the very front layer. Now this napkin appears to only have two plies, the front one and the back one, but sometimes there are more, so you need to watch for that. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside, and what I'm going to do is kind of go around some of this, and I like to use either a paintbrush or a water brush. And a water brush is just a brush that has water in it, so a paint brush and water would work just fine. And I am just kind of, I don't know, outlining where I want to go. And I'm just going to tear this off and very carefully. I'm not getting it exact, okay, it, but it is going to have a nice little feathered edge, and I like that. So, let me see here. I have to make sure I have enough water coming out of this. So I'm going to do this all the way around, and then once I get that done, it'll time to put it on our board. So I'm going to either speed this up or just skip past it and I'll be back. Okay, now let me get it up close here so you can see. It just has a nice little feathery edge instead of a blunt cut like you would get with scissors, but if you prefer to use scissors it works just as fine as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting some Mod Podge on there and lining this up where I want it. And, you know, I think that's right where I want it, right there. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I get it in the same place here in a minute. So I'm just kind of showing you where I'm putting it. And there's overhang, but I'm going to be using that exact same technique to remove that overhang in a little bit. All right, so I think that looks exactly how I want it. And you know what? That's kind of cool. Hold on a second. I'm going to kind of give it a little a little fold there. Maybe it'll help me find my spot when I come back. Okay, 
So, now it's time for the Mod Podge. Oh, let me get this open. Okay, I got it. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of it into this apple sauce cup. <laughs> I don't want to pour too much in because I don't want to waste it. But I guess I can always put the excess back in. But I can also just add more. Okay, so I'm using a sponge brush and getting this on there. And I'm not going to put it on real gloppy. I'm just going to put on a thin coat. And since I don't know you know exactly where this is going to land on here I will probably put it all over this bottom half so but you just you only need a thin coat for it to adhere to if you put it on too thick it kind of gets really wrinkly and I'm going to show you how to go around that really wrinkly part here in a minute but there we go Okay, let's see if I can get this on right where I wanted it. Oh, I'm so afraid I'm going to screw this up. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Wow, I think I got it. So I want to show you something. Hold on one second here. By just putting on a little Mod Podge, you still get a few wrinkles, but not very many. Now, use some cling wrap, and I've just got a piece right here, probably bigger than I need, and you can kind of rub out those wrinkles if you want. Now, I'll be honest with you, I usually like the wrinkles. I just, I don't know, I like the texture, I like the look, you know, it's kind of, um, I don't know, I don't think aged is the correct word, but I don't know, I just like the look of the wrinkles. But with using the cling wrap, nothing is sticking to your fingers, and so it makes it really easy to just rub across everything. Okay, and then I'll just lift that up, and it looks beautiful absolutely beautiful and perfect okay so what I'm gonna do now is well the first thing I'm gonna do is move this out of the way and we're gonna be using that again in a second but I'm gonna get out my water brush again and I'm just gonna go right along the edge because I'm just gonna tear it off right along that edge just like that and I don't know like I said for me the water brush or a, a wet paint brush is just the best way to go it just helps the napkin tear so nicely and I really do prefer a feathered edge as opposed to a blunt edge but you know we all have our own preferences and so I think you, you know, will do what works best for you, whether it's using, you know, the water or whether it's using scissors. And no matter how you do it, if it's what you want, then it's going to be perfect. We all have our own taste. And I didn't get that wet enough. Okay, now... You can see that there are still some along the edges. Um, this side was okay. But if you want to get rid of that, you have two choices. You can either fold it over and just make it be a part of this, which is kind of what I want to do. Um, or you can use your fingernail, get it wet and just use your fingernail and scrape it off. So I might scrape off a little of it, but I kind of like leaving some of it there. I just like the look. Everybody has their own taste, and so there we go. I think I just about have it the way I want it. There we go. Okay. So now this is done, but it's not done. I'm going to let it set like mm, 
for a minute just to make sure that the Mod Podge is you know not too wet because I don't want to start putting my next coat over when that's wet and have it kind of you know possibly tear it but isn't that gorgeous so far I am loving it okay so I'm gonna let it sit a minute and then I'm gonna put another coat of Mod Podge over the top of it to protect it oh I might want to share something with you don't throw away the other layer because you can always print on this you can put it through your printer and I have a video on how to do that so I'll link it right here on the screen and probably at the end of the video as well Here I'm using cling wrap again to help smooth things out and it also helps get rid of the brush strokes and gives it a more smooth look. I made this sticker with my Cricut, but if you don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette or anything to make these with, the Dollar Tree has all kinds of rub-ons and stickers and I'm pretty sure you will find one that is just perfect for this. There it is. I got it. And it's perfect and I'm loving this so far. But I think it needs a little messy bow up here at the top and maybe something else. So let me grab some ribbon. Okay, I'm going to start with this burlap ribbon. And I'm just going to guesstimate how far I want it because I can always cut more off later. So. I'm going to start off with that piece. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. And I'm just going to start cutting off other pieces. Approximately that size does not have to be exact. But I want to use, um, I'm making a mess here. I just wanted to use some colors that, you know, are in here. So the orange um, with the cream color and some black. And let's see, what else did I grab here? Okay, I grabbed two things that aren't even open yet. They're brand new. So this ribbon is from Close to My Heart. I don't even know if they have it anymore. I have, you know, tons of stuff like this. I buy a lot knowing that I'm going to use it someday. And this happens to be the someday kind of fits right in with me wanting to use my stash you know it seems to be my uh, my thing lately is using my stash use what I have and ooh, how about this one too cut off a piece of that and I think I might do one more of the burlap I'm running out of it here but Whoops, close enough. Okay, now decisions, decisions. Which color am I going to use to wrap all of this together? Hmm. Just, hmm. I have to think on that one for a second. Uh, not that one. <laughs> Why are y'all not here helping me do this? You know, why Why are you just not? Well, hmm. You know what? It's going to take more fingers than I have to do this, so I'll be right back. Well, guess who forgot to turn the camera back on when she tied this? Yep, I got so involved in it that I totally forgot the camera wasn't on. So, I have got this done. I dovetailed some of the ribbons but not all of them because it's you know it's a messy bow and it's just messy and before I straighten it all out and put it on there oh by the way I had this cute little spoon I decided to stick that on there too since this is you know like a cutting board it's kind of kitchen themed so I decided to do that then I have these pumpkins that I got last year and I think they have them this year too at the Dollar Tree and I thought maybe I will put that on there as well so I should do that before I glue everything down and let me see here wrap it around here and see how it looks 
you know, hopefully it looks good. What do you think? I think it kind of looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to take the um, two pieces here in the back where I had tied it, and I'm going to use those to wrap it around the handle up here and hot glue it on the back. And I need to make sure that this pumpkin is sitting right when I do that because it kind of looked weird just now when I was putting it on here. So I may not want it on. You know, I'm just playing around with this while I am recording. And I don't know if I'm going to keep it that way or change it. You know what? I think it stands out too far. I don't like it. So I am going to take it off. But that's the cool thing. You know, when you're making something, play around with it until you get it just the way you want it. You know, it's the same thing with with these ribbons on here. I'm going to play around with them. I'm going to, you know, pull some down more and some up more and whatever. Because now it's really a mess since I tried putting that on. Okay, so I'm going to pull this really tight. I have hot glue sitting here. Let me get it out. And I'm going to put just a little drop right here on the back just to hold that together. And then... I'm going to stick it on here and turn it over and I'm going to glue these two pieces down. So put a little hot glue right there and a little hot glue right there and try not to burn myself. Yep, that hurts. Okay. So We've got that together, and now all I have to do on the front is just go through and grab all my little my little pieces of ribbon here and put them in the position that I want them in, which is mostly getting those two up and the rest of these can all just kind of flip around. So, there we go. I love it. I don't know what you think, but you can always leave me a comment below and tell me what you think of how it turned out. And, you know, I love napkin crafting. It's really easy to do. And I love home decor projects. All right. There we go. Well, as you can see, I decided to add a bow to the top of the messy bow, and I love the way it looks. I'm so happy with how this turned out. And I hope that this has given you some inspiration to make your own fall decor or try napkin crafting if you haven't done that already. I'll have links to a couple of videos here on the screen that just might be of interest to you. Happy crafting everyone. Bye bye.